I'm Nicole Chantel, and if you like beauty videos, 31 days of Halloween, and Friday vlogs, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of my makeup family. With all that being said, let's jump right into this video. So, hello everybody. We are in the parking lot of Value Village. I had a subscriber of mine, and she actually has a channel as well. Her name is Alejandra. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. If I'm not, please forgive me. I love her channel. She has an awesome channel. I'll leave her link down to her channel down below and also right here up on the screen for you guys to check her out. Show her some love. Anyhow, we are at my local thrift shop store. I don't know why I had a hard time saying that. Anyways, it's called Valley Village. And she had made a comment on my video saying she would love to see like some Halloween vlog. And I was like, you know what? Let's do Come Shop With Me Halloween edition. Maybe I will do a holiday edition as well come Christmas time. So Value Village always carries awesome, awesome gear for Halloween. And like, you know, they have the same stuff as Walmart and Spared Halloween. It's just that less the price because, you know, a lot of people aren't going to go spend 50 or $60 on a costume. Like, really? Come on. And not only that, go to Value Village, scope out the used clothing, Think of an idea that you could create for Halloween and you get it so, so much cheaper. Like last year I did the Queen of Hearts. I bought all of the, like what I wore in that video, I bought it all here at Value Village and it was like $30, maybe even under 30. So it was really, really inexpensive and you put your own spin on it and your own touch, which makes it totally like awesome. So this is what we're doing today. We are going to do Come Shop With Me Halloween Edition. Let's see what we could find. Let's stop talking and get inside. So you guys, so far we've been to Valley Village, Dollarama, and Walmart. And as you can tell from that last clip from Walmart, it was like two little aisles of Halloween stuff. And I think the reason why there's like 
not a lot of Halloween products right now at the moment like they normally do have every year is because our Walmarts here are turning into super center Walmarts. So I guess that's the reason why they're not bringing so much stuff in. I am on the hunt for like the old school long black witch nails. Remember when we were a kid and you used to get those plastic ones? Well, I'm on the hunt for those. So far, I'm not having any luck. So I am going to go to Spirit Halloween just to see if they have them there. If not, then I have to think of something else because of what I bought at Value Village, which I will show you guys later on. It's going to be one of my Halloween looks. I will give you like a little sneak peek. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go there, check it out. Hopefully, fingers crossed that we're able to get them. If not, I like to go back in time as a kid, buy a whole bunch of them because me in the future as an adult would have a whole bunch of them then. <laughs> So you guys, I'm home now. I'm going to show you what goodies I picked up today. So like I said, I did go to Value Village, Dollarama, Walmart, and Spirit Halloween. And first, I really didn't want to go to Spirit Halloween because it is so costly to buy stuff from there. But what I was looking for was those old-fashioned long nails that we would get as a kid, like the witch's nails, which I did find them for a great price. So I will show you first what I picked up at Value Village, which is here in the bag. So right here, I did pick up the bird wristlets and they're black so it's for when you want to be a bird or a crow <laughs> anyways they are feathers they were only $7.99 and this is the thing you know when you go to Valley Village all of their Halloween stuff is new and it's just for at a very low cost than what you would pay at bigger Halloween stores I mean technically Value Village is not a Halloween store, it's a thrift store, but they do get all these items brand new and packaged for less the cost, which I think is totally great. Also, they do have a discount area as well, so just go through the discount area, see what they have there. You get it really super cheap as well. So I did pick up these to go on my wrist. I really shouldn't be showing you guys what I picked up, what I'm going to do with it, but hey, why not? Let's just show you. And I did pick up this black feather boa. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do with this, with this look, but I think this is going to be a task, but only $6.99. And this hair I absolutely love. So do you see kind of a theme that I'm going to go with right now? This is a crow, as you can tell. Um, I really love these masks. They're super like very, to me, they're really scary but anyways i did only pay 14.99 for this now they did have one something similar um into spirit halloween and it was like over 20 dollars. so i think 14.99 is really great and it just ties up on the back i really love this maybe i'll put it up on my wall afterwards because it's just all around a really pretty piece then the last thing that i picked up at valley village so this here this piece here really got my head going and thinking of another look that I could create, like a crow, a raven. So when I seen this, this is what started all this whole feather business in the beginning. This here is a neck piece. And as you can tell, like the girl is wearing it right here. So this is a neck piece and right here is the price. I only paid $16.99 for it. Really, really love it. Love the detail on it. I mean, I could probably make something like this, but realistically, like for me to go get the material and to design it, it just cost as much or probably even more, really. And I just really, really love it. So, and of course, the back of it comes up like that around your neck. So be on the lookout for the 31 days of Halloween on what I'm going to do with this. But hint, a raven. I'm not sure what kind of makeup I'm going to do for it, but you guys will see. But all in all, I think this is really, really great. So all of that came up to a total of, I do believe it was like $54. So all in all, I think that was great because, you know, these are pieces that, like I said, if I were to go to Spirit Halloween for this hair at Spirit Halloween, like I didn't even see anything like it at all at Spirit Halloween. But if they did have a neck piece like this, I know it'd be like in the 40 plus range. So just for one piece alone would be like 
the cost of all that stuff that I bought today at Value Village for $54. So this was a great savings. Then I went to Dollarama. So if you do live in Canada, you have a Dollarama. In the States, there is no Dollarama. So just go to your dollar stores down there and I'm sure they probably carry a lot of Halloween items. So in there they had a lot of Halloween decor and also items like costumes that you could create whatever you want to be for Halloween. So this is where we're going to. This is what I'm showing you today because I was really on the hunt for more things to come up with for the 31 days of Halloween. Some more ideas. I already had ideas in place but there was other items that I really needed. So this time I picked up this big giant pin which is a needle. I won't use it as a pin but it is a needle. So this is going to go with one of my Halloween looks and this here was only $2.50. Then I picked up this here, um, this uh, blood stained little like apron and it was only $1.25. So I mean like at Halloween or sorry not Halloween Alley, I was about to say Halloween Alley. At uh, Dollarama, their Halloween stuff is really inexpensive so I think it which is great. And they had a lot of kids' costumes in there as well. But all in all, I think that's really great for $1.25 because I know that if I went anywhere else, I would definitely pay more than $1.25 for it. Now to Spirit Halloween because Walmart only had two aisles and they didn't have a whole lot of stuff. So Walmart was kind of a bust. But this was what I was on the lookout for are these long kind of classic old style school witch nails. And they were only... $1.99. So that is going to go with my Raven Crow look. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was really, really happy. So if you guys are looking for these, definitely check out your local Spirit Halloween because they have them because Walmart never had them. Valley Village never had them. The Dollarama never had them. And I did not think that they were going to be so hard to pick up, but they were. So this is what else I picked up here. And then... I love Halloween magnets and I got two Halloween magnets. This one here is a sugar skull and it was only $2.99. And then of course I got the Ghostbusters one and it was also only $2.99 as well right there. So they're going to go on, oops, <laughs> they're going to go on the back of my car because I do have a Hocus Pocus uh, decal that's going to go on the back of my car. And they also had a zombie one. It was a decal zombie. It wasn't a magnet one, and I really wanted a magnet one. But I asked the guy in there, are they going to be getting more magnets? So if you guys are really into, like, the whole Halloween magnet thing, he said just there. They also had a black and white um, sugar skull there, but I really like the colorful one. Then they had another magnet, and it said, not today, Satan, not today. And I was like, should I buy it? Should I not? <laughs> but I never. So I'm going to keep on looking back to see if they have any more magnets because I like to have a couple to add to my collection to put on my car because, you know, I think they're just cool and I'm so into Halloween, as you guys could tell. Then the last thing that I purchased at Spirit Halloween, I did purchase a hat and it says A Nightmare on Elm Street and it has the Freddy Krueger hand on the back of it. I did pay $21.99 for it. Went in there today, this hat wasn't there and it was there today and it's Friday the 13th. Totally love it. And look at this, has the mask on the back. So love that. And of course, this was $21.99. So that is it for my Come Shop With Me Halloween edition. If you guys would like to see more Come Shop With Me videos, like especially for Halloween, maybe the next time I'll go down to Michael's, see what kind of Halloween decor they have down there, especially they have a lot of it on sale. I know that last time when I was down there, I did pick up a witch nutcracker. And I got her for $10 because a few parts were broken on her. But hey, I could glue it all back together. So it's not a big deal. So if you guys would like to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments down below. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Happy Halloween shopping. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.